Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup, where we break down all the biggest stories from the music world. Today, we're diving into some spicy drama between Nicki Minaj and her ex-boyfriend, Safari. Nicki recently took to Station Head to vent her frustrations after Safari was spotted at her concert during the Pink Friday 2 tour. There's definitely some tension in the air, and we're here to break it all down for you. Let's get into it. So during her chat on Station Head, Nikki didn't directly name Safari, but the message was pretty clear. She said people were trying to steal her joy and disrupt her peace. She even warned that anyone disrespecting her or the Barb's would face some serious karma. Nikki made it obvious that she was not happy about Safari being at her show. She's like, I'm a superstar. If I wanted to go somewhere incognito, I know how to do it. I'm not out here filming TikToks. That was a direct shot at Safari, who, by the way, made a whole vlog about attending her concert. There, guys. guys, I want to say, when you're at peace and when you're happy, so many things will start coming, you know, to try to steal your joy and to steal your peace. You know, please don't let it. The Barbs have been winning all year. Since, well, actually, I was going to say since the album dropped, but no, I'm really going to say since Super Freaky Girl debuted number one, okay? Everyone knows how to go to watch anything and be incognito. I'm a fucking superstar. If I want to go to a concert and be completely incognito, I would know how to do it, okay? I ain't filming my stuff and all that shit, doing fucking TikTok. Like, what the fuck? But every motherfucking time they bag running low, honey. And if y'all don't get their asses together, that hiatus is going to be a lot more next level than you could have ever planned. Now, here's where things get interesting. Safari, who dated Nikki for over a decade, was seen in the crowd at her Miami show singing along and enjoying himself. He wasn't hiding either. He was dancing and rapping like a true fan. Afterward, he took to X, formerly Twitter, and said he was genuinely proud of Nikki. He made it clear that he had no bad intentions, even saying, there's no malice in me, I'm proud. He also had a funny moment where he admitted to dropping his drink and running back inside when Roman's revenge came on. He seemed to be having a good time, but some fans weren't feeling it. Speaking of fans, some of them were definitely not happy with Safari's appearance. They felt like he was trying to steal the spotlight or stir up drama. And Nikki, she wasn't having it. She even told her fans that if they don't handle situations like this in the future, she might go on a much longer hiatus than anyone expects. She urged her barbs to block and report anyone on her timeline who's been acting out of pocket. Nikki clearly wants her peace and she's ready to protect it at all costs. So there you have it, a heated moment between Nicki Minaj and Safari, who just couldn't stay away from her concert. Nicki's not playing when it comes to her piece, and Safari's appearance definitely ruffled some feathers. Let me know what you think. Was Safari just being a supportive ex, or was he trying to stir the pot? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more music industry updates. Thanks for watching the Red Carpet Reup. See you next time.